Here's a tip that uh, might be more for uh, advanced carpenters than for beginners, but uh, definitely valuable either way. And that is, of course, if you are going to use hangers, then make sure you place them in the right spot. Now, let's take a look at the back of the stringers here. Looks like we have some double stringers nailed together. Single stringer on the far right, looks like. And um, the gap between the bottom of the stringer, I shouldn't say really a gap, the area between the bottom of the stringer and the bottom of the beam is not supported by anything. And this could be a problem. And when I say could be, you know, I'm, I'm making this video and obviously this set of stairs looks like it's been there for at least five years. There are, is no sign of any damage, no problems. I'm not about to suggest this stairway is going to fall down at any time um, and could last for uh, decades. But um, I like to see the areas, uh, the area here that we're referring to supported by either using a larger beam or lowering the beam and then adding material to the top of it or simply nailing a um, ledger on to the... Um, to the beam, for example. And again, even if even by cutting the stringers a little differently, let's, it looks like this is the top of the deck. Um, the beam could have actually been moved back about uh, six or seven inches and the stringer, let's just say the top of the stringer is 10 inches. Um, the area that would represent the tread or the top of the floor is 10 inches in width. Uh, by simply making that 14 or 16 inches, you could actually have this area blend into the beam. Um, the bottom of the stringer would actually blend into the bottom of the, uh, looks like about a four by eight beam there. But that's not the main reason why I made the video. Main reason is just to point out that uh, if someone would have bought, looks like this, this looks like a, Doubler, you got two boards nailed together, two stringers. Looks like a double hanger that would be about three inches wide. Um, it looks like it's for like a four by, I mean, a two, two, two by sixes. Obviously, this is not a four by six hanger. It's not three and a half inches wide. It's for a doubler. Um, and let's just say that you bought something for a doubler that uh, was going to be three inches wide, but it was for uh, two by eights or two by tens, you'd get a bigger hanger and you could actually lower the hanger. So if you cut the notch, you can see there's a notch in the stringers. Someone cut a notch and installed the hanger. But if the hanger was actually installed a little lower, um, you know, where the arrow is here, for example, you just cut a line, cut a groove in at the bottom of the stringer there. Um, I guess I wouldn't say the bottom of the uh, ledger area there. Um, you could actually lower the hanger and support the stringer a little better. And I hope that makes sense. This isn't uh, kind of one of those rocket science videos. But uh, and, and, and for those of you who are saying, hey, this, the hanger is just there for a connection. You know, well, if that's the case, just use an A35, a Tico clip uh, framing anchor. Why do you need the hanger in there? Um, so if you are going to use a hanger instead of some other types of uh, connectors, then make sure that you put it in the lowest spot on the stringer to provide you with the most um, support.